Okay, so in this video, I'm going to have a look at the 2021 Higher Level Leaving Cert Maths Paper 2, question 9. So an airplane flies east from the point A for two hours at a constant speed of 420 kilometers per hour until it reaches the point B. It then changes direction by heading 20 degrees southward at the same speed until it reaches point C, as shown in the diagram below. The direct distance from A to C is 1,450 kilometers and the angle BAC is 8.57 degrees. Find how long it took to fly from B to C. Give your answer to the nearest minute. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is use the uh, cosine rule. So we have a triangle here and we have one side along here, we have this angle, and we can work out the distance along here easily enough. So let's do that. You can see here that we know that he was traveling for two hours along here from A to B at a speed of 420 kilometers an hour. So the distance, distance is just going to be 420 multiplied by two, which is 840 kilometers. So we know that this distance along here is 840 kilometers. Now we're just going to use the cosine rule. This is another question involving the cosine rule, so let's just run through it. We have BC, so you got, we're looking at BC. Remember, if we're looking at this angle here, we start with the opposite side. So we're going to start with BC squared is equal to 840 squared plus 1450 squared minus twice 840 times 1450 and cosine of the angle which is 8.57 degrees. Now the right hand side is just all calculator work, you can do all that on your calculator and what you get for BC squared for BC squared is 399 299.056 so that would give you BC then, the distance from B to C as the square root of that, which is 631.9011442 and so on kilometers. So we have this distance here now as 631.9011442 kilometers. Okay, so what we need to do is find uh, how long it took to fly from B to C. So we have the speed, we have the distance, so we can work out the time. So the time, again, so we have speed is equal to distance over time. So time is equal to distance over speed. In our case, our distance is 631.9011442. And the speed is 420. So once you do that on your calculator, you will find that you will get um, 1.5045 and so on, that many hours. And you've got to convert that to uh, minutes, so that's 90 minutes. I think we have to give our answer to the nearest minute. So from B to C takes 90 minutes. So I might just stick in the times there as well so far. So we've got two hours along here. Well, actually, we'll put it in minutes. So that's 120 minutes. And we have 90 minutes along here. OK, so let's have a look at part two then. The average fuel consumption of the plane is 3.8 litres per second, and the fuel capacity of the plane is 100,000 litres. Show that the plane will be able to complete the journey from A to B to C and then directly back to A at a speed of 420 kilometers per hour without refueling. So what they're going to do is fly from A to B, then down to C, and then directly back to A. Uh, it says up here the direct distance from A to C is 1450. So this is the direct distance back here. So they're going directly back this way. So let's work through that anyway. The first thing we're going to do is find the time it takes to get from C to A. We have the speed, we have the distance, so I'm just going to work out the time it takes to get from C to A. Okay, so um, the time from C to A 
is going to be equal to the distance which is 1450 divide that by the speed which is 420 and that will give you 3.4523 809 repeated and that's in hours so you just want to convert that to minutes we seem to be dealing with minutes here so multiply that by 60 and that will give us 207.1428 minutes okay so I might just put that in as well since that's what we're doing let's see this is uh, 207.142857 minutes. Now let's just work out now the total time for the entire journey. So the total time for the entire journey is going to be equal to uh, two hours to start with, so that was 120 minutes plus 90 minutes plus 207.142857 I don't really need all these decimal places but I'll do it anyway so we have 417 417.142857 and this is in minutes we're dealing with seconds in this particular part of the question so multiply that by 60 that'll give us 2502 8.57142 and this is in seconds now we are told that the um, fuel consumption is 3.82 liters per second so at 3.82 liters per second uh, the plane is going to use uh, 25028.57142 multiplied by 3.82 uh, liters, so that's going to give me uh, 95609.14 and so on uh, liters used, and this is less than a hundred thousand liter capacity. So the plane should make it no problem. Okay, so let's have a look at part B then. So B part one, the voltage V of T in volts of a certain alternating current is given by the function V of T is equal to 110 root 2 sine 120 pi T, where T is in seconds. Find the period and the range of the function. Okay, so the period of any function is just given by 2 pi divided by the coefficient of the the angle here if you like the T so it's going to be divided by 120 pi so divide that by 120 pi that's uh, going to be 160 1 over 60 and this is in seconds the range then the range is going to be given by this number here so the range is going to be plus and minus uh, 110 root 2. That's it really for that part of the question. Okay, so in part 2 we've got to sketch the function from 0 to p where p is the period of v of t. Indicate the period and the range of the function on your graph. Okay, so we have the period and range so we've just got to sketch it. So let's do the y axis here and we'll do an x axis here. So we've got to go from 0 out to uh, 1 over 60. So let's say this is 1 over 60 here. Halfway is going to be 1 over 120. Halfway again out to here is going to be 1 over 240 seconds. And 3 quarters the way out then is just going to be 1 over 80 seconds. So our function goes up, down, and up, and up again. Uh, through one period from 0 to P. So let's sketch that. So we're going to go up, then down, and then back up again to here. So our range then is going to be from here to here. 
So this is going to be 1, 10, root 2. And this is going to be minus 1, 10, root 2. So this is our sketch. I'll just put in the uh, labels as well. It's the voltage in volts. And this is the time in seconds. That's, really, that's it really, that's our sketch of our function. Okay, let's have a look at part two. Use V of T to find the voltage when T is equal to 6.67 seconds. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. So our function is V of T is equal to 110 root 2 sine 120 pi times T. We've just got to stick 6.67 in here. So our voltage um, when t is 6.67 seconds is equal to 110 root 2 sine 120 times pi times 6.67. Now again, all that expression on the right is just calculator work. And when you do that to two decimal places, you get 147.95 volts. OK, so let's have a look at part four. Find one value of T where the voltage is 110 volts. Give your answer in the form A over B, where A over B is an element of N. OK, so again, we have our function. Well, I have it up above. I won't write it out again. But now we're given the voltage on the left-hand side. So we know 110 is equal to 110 root 2 sine 120 pi times T. So we've got to work backwards here to find out what T is. So if you divide by 110 on each side, you get 1 on the left-hand side. Divide by root 2, so you get 1 over root 2 on the left-hand side. So we have sine 120 pi times t. Now we only need one value here. So what I'm going to do is just look at this 1 over root 2. And you should recognize that 1 over root 2, the sine of what will give you 1 over root 2? sine of 45 degrees, or in this case we're talking about radians, so we're going to be talking about pi over 4. You can look that up in your tables as well, of course, but uh, it just means here that the 120 pi t is pi over 4, 45 degrees. So let's see, the two pi's, we can divide across by the two pi's anyway, and you get 120 t is equal to 1 over 4. Divide by the 120, that gives you t is equal to 1 over 480 seconds. And we've given our answer in the form A over B. A and B are natural numbers, so that's fine. OK, so let's have a look at the last part, I think, of this question. So it's part V. Find the rate of change of the voltage when t is equal to 2. So this is just differentiation. So we have our original function, v of t is equal to 110 root 2 sine 120 pi times t. We just got to differentiate this and then stick 2 in instead of t. So let's do v dash t first, v prime t. So uh, if you differentiate sine, you get cos. So we're going to have the 110 root 2, and then there's going to be cos of 120 pi times t there. But because this is sine, not sine, because this is not sine of t, it's sine of some function of t, we've got to differentiate this bit in here as well first. If you differentiate that, you'll just get 120 pi. So 120 pi goes there as well. These are all multiplied here. OK, so that 110 is multiplied by the root 2, is multiplied by the root 120, is multiplied by the pi, is multiplied by the cos. Now we want v prime 2 in this case, so we just got to stick 2 in there. Root 2, 120 pi, cos 120 pi times 2. Again, all of that can be done on your calculator. And you should get 58646. Uh, this is the rate of change of voltage. So this would be um, volts per second. Okay, and that's it for this question.